the parable uh, God or Brahman cannot be described. Many people or several people have gone into the realization, but after that he, they did, couldn't come back and talk about Brahman, what it is, couldn't describe it. The parable that Sri Ramakrishna said, and I'll read from the book, The Gospel of Sri Ramakrishna, translated by Swami Nikhilananda. It goes like this. Once four friends, in the course of a walk, saw a place enclosed by a wall. The wall was very high. They all became eager to know what was inside. One of them climbed to the top of the wall. What he saw on looking inside made him speechless with wonder. He only cried, ah, ah, and dropped in. He could not give any information about what he saw. The others too climbed the wall, uttered the same cry, ah, ah, and jumped in. Now who could tell what was inside? This parable is said in a different way again by Sri Ramakrishna, and I'll read that alternative version also. There was an infinite field beyond a high wall. Four friends tried to find out what was beyond the wall. Three of them, one after the other, climbed the wall, saw the field, burst into loud laughter, and dropped to the other side. These three could not give any information about the field. Only the fourth man came back and told people about it. He is like those who retain their bodies even after attending Brahmogyana, in order to teach others. Divine incarnations belong to this class. We know that Jaurabharata and Dattatreya were such people who, after realizing Brahman, could not describe it. They did not, they did not return to the relative plane after having the vision of Brahman. A man's eye completely disappears when he goes into samadhi after, after attaining the knowledge of Brahman. Similar parables are also mentioned by Sri Ramakrishna in other places. And that uh, one, one is called the salt doll. The salt doll wanted to measure the depth of the ocean. So he went to the ocean and as soon as he went inside, he actually dissolved in the water, ocean water. So he couldn't come back and tell what he experienced or how he, uh, deep that ocean was. The same line of thinking or same uh, subject was discussed in different ways by Sri Ramakrishna. Once he was with Pandit Ishar Chandra Vidyasagar and when he, they were talking he mentioned that Vedas and Puranas have already been described or understood by people and they described it. They are like defiled food that has been touched by the tongue. But Brahman has never been touched by the tongue. It's not defiled. So that, that's a, another story that we can say about the same theme. There is another one called Ant and Sugar Hill. The ant went to the sugar hill and found that there are so many grains of sugar. And so the ant took one, ate one sugar grain and took another one, go, go, went home. 
But then later he thought, I will go back and tr take all the rest. But that's not possible for him because it's a big hill. I mentioned about Jarabharata and Dattatriya. Similarly, there was a name Shukadeva, who some say couldn't realize God completely, but he talked about that uh, uh, of Bhagavata, he came back and taught other people. And some say he saw, but because he wanted to teach other people, he came back to the life. And he uh, actually uh, recited the Bhagavata to Parikshit, who was the grandson of Arjuna and son of Ovimannu. Shankaracharya is another name that we can mention of, who returned to, after realizing Brahman, returned and he kept the knowledge, ego of knowledge, so that he could teach other people. So there are some other examples. And also, uh, Sri Ramakrishna mentioned about small things about like cooking a dough in oil. When you put it in the oil, it sizzles quite a bit. To ex and, but when it is completely fried, it doesn't do that. He was trying to explain that when people do not know about something like Brahman, they talk too much, they teach other people, but when they really realize Brahman, they cannot talk anymore. They become dumb. <laughs> Similarly, when we heat butter to make clarified butter or ghee, it first sizzles quite a bit, but then when it becomes ghee, it quietens, there is no more sound. Another one is, we know that empty vessel sounds much. Like, if you are filling an empty vessel, first there will be a lot of gurgling sound from the water entering into it, but once it is full, there will be no more sound. Brahman has, been, has not been defiled, as I mentioned, and so nobody could tell you what Brahman is, although they may have realized it. So that, that's mainly it. <laughs>